MyPillow CEO Mike Lindell had his iPhone taken away by the FBI in a Hardee's drive through clearly upsetting Mike Lindell and his dealer while exciting the burger chain that half the country did not know existed. That looks very Carl's Jr. I don't understand. I said, you know, you guys, I said, are you going to arrest me? I said, I've been asking for you guys. This will make international, this will make national news. And they go, no, no, we're not going to arrest you. I'm going, well, then what do you want? I like how he's self-aware enough here to quickly downgrade the news from international to national. It is very funny to see the sue the machine guy shock when his electronics are taken away. It is pouring MAGA tears. Mike Lindell surrenders his iPhone to the FBI in a Hardee's parking lot after an early morning duck hunt because what other plot line would you expect from the pillow manufacturer gone mad? Lindell attempts to compare the actions of the FBI agents to Nazi Germany, and I have the genuine leaked audio from the Hardee's drive-thru. Plus, I check in with Dim Jr. and the latest and stupid from Kimberly Guilfoyle and more. The guy who uses more keys than a janitor but never opens a door tweeted, There is something seriously broken in federal law enforcement if they're going after Mike Lineal, but not the people on Jeffrey Epstein's list. <sighs> Naturally, I replied, you're just jealous because Mike Lindell had your dad's phone number and you have to text him through an assistant. Also, Diaper Don was Jeffrey's dance bro, wished Ghislaine well, and was a frequent flyer on Epstein Air. So, me and my buddy, we hear that there's ducks on the pond down in Iowa, the pond I always go to hunting, and... Get set the alarm for 4 a.m. Anyway, here we're coming back from from Iowa now. We stopped at just some random Hardee's in Mankato, Minnesota. Random Hardee's. Random Hardee's sounds like what you find at Mitch McConnell's secret house party. If you step in the second room down the hall to the left, you should find some random Hardee's. One of them might be Ted Cruz, so don't get too excited. Can I get a bump? And we go through a Hardee's drive-thru. We pull around to the back and we're just about going through We pull through the drive-thru, they take the order. We pull up and she says, pull ahead, you know, cause they had to make the order if the order wasn't done. I love that Mike knows his audience well enough that he feels the need to explain how drive-thrus work. We pull ahead and a car comes perpendicular and parks like a little ways in front of us. And, I, and I've been around the block and I said to my buddy, I said, um, that's either a bad guy or it's, it's FBI. I, I said that straight up. Normal humans would just think police, maybe FBI, not some mercenaries pulling a pillow heist. Think that wouldn't be traumatizing? Oh yeah. Lucky I called my friend down. I called my friend down. I go, you know what? This has nothing to do with you. At first I thought they might be bad guys. So I said, you know what? These could be bad guys. I said, or they're going to be like FBI or somebody. You didn't calm them down. You freaked him out. Your friend was scared because your first reaction was to tell him, these could be bad guys. And these aren't the, what you think of like, you know, secret service cars or something. They were all different models and, oh, they're all undercover, you know. And he goes, uh, we're taking your cell phone. We have a warrant for your cell phone. I go, no, I said my whole company, I run five companies off that. I don't have a computer. My hearing aids run off this. Everything runs off my phone. I put all my eggs in one basket and it's your fault. And uh, he, he, so he shows me this arrest warrant. We're gonna put it up here on a thing or not. This phone uh, arrest phone to arrest my phone. A warrant, a warrant for your phone. War arrest my phone. I love how Brandon tries to save him from his own stupidity. And again, I love how the Sue the Machines guy is shocked when his phone is being taken away. Perfect. What have we become as a nation when our own government this is what they did in Nazi Germany, everybody. They're attacking us citizens. Yes, my dead relatives had chats in fast food parking lots about hunting and then had their phones taken and were sent back on their merry way. So they overstepped their bound. Thanks to a top secret operative from the George Soros Trudeau Panda Express, I have the genuine audio from the Hardee's drive through Welcome to Hardee's, how can I help you? I'll have two steak sandwiches. Can you say that again, please? Two steak sandwiches. I'm sorry, I didn't catch that. Two steak sandwiches. 
We don't have steak sandwiches. Would you like to try one of our combos? Okay, uh, I'll have a number C. Our combos go from one to eight. We don't have a number C. Two steak sandwiches. Can you just pick something from the menu, sir? Our combos are very popular. Okay, um, I'll have a number C. Our combos go from one to eight. We don't have a number C. Uh, okay. Two steak sandwiches. Okay, I'm having a bit of trouble with the order. Can you pull up to the next one? Oh my gosh, look at all the cars! I think these are bad guys! They're probably gonna kill us! They could also just be FBI, so remain calm, but they could be bad FBI who are gonna kill us! I think they're bad guys! I said you guys are gonna be on my 6 o'clock Lindell report. All over the world. All over the world! Okay, he's back to international. I want to say this for the record. They were they were pretty nice guys. Okay, I mean, I, none of them had an attitude thing, and I'm but I'm just going. So none I'm of them going, acted like they didn't like you. They all act like they liked you. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. I mean, they were very very you know gracious. I mean, just like in Nazi Germany. He goes, bam, with your past. He goes, uh, and he says, you, you know, it's American dream. You know, or the Amer- You know. So I these guys were not like, antagonistic at all. It sounds like. To no, you. no. I talked to him about God. I. Just like in Nazi Germany. Yes, it's the makeup lab explosion survivor in a Bon Jovi wig dancing for a crowd of brainwashed lunatics, but it gets even weirder when Don Jr. takes the stage. Pretty good, Kimberly. That is what I call a spicy broad. And if you're a Trump supporter, you understand that is the highest compliment imaginable, okay? The leftist lunatics will say, oh, it's chauvinistic, it's terrible. Kimberly knows exactly what it means. Broad, noun, informal, dated. The dictionary example is like Don Jr. wrote it. I get drunk, follow the pretty broads, and make a fool of myself. Kimberly's about as spicy as ketchup. Don, go lick a wall in your dad's office and it'll be Gilfoyle hot. Well, then I gave him the phone, and they uh, and uh, my guys, one of them was talking to my buddy in the back about it. The dog, you know, if he was sitting in the back there, and then him and I, told one FBI guy, we talked about he's a he's a big game hunter. Just like in Nazi Germany, they take away my way to do business, and uh, you know, so people calling me. I mean, you you can't imagine numbers. You know, I mean, it's just unbelievable. No, it's unbelievable that you run all these companies and don't have regular backups of your phone or have it synced to your Mac or an IT person just mind blown. But not, it is dollar store Burt Reynolds. We are personal, but everything was a little bit personal before the, before somewhat after we got, he got done, I got done answering all their dumb questions. I'm going, that's a stupid question. You already know that all you got to do is. Imagine telling the SS, that's a stupid question. And then just being sent home. To take Lindell's phone at a Hardee's? You know, maybe they needed the messages because they thought they were going to get his text to Boebert, his text to Steve Bannon, his text to Donald Trump, Donald Trump's emails, uh, sig- significant pictures of Ivanka. I've tried hard to make the distinction, the brother at the top and the sister on the bottom. Uh, I've heard, you know, uh, Jared might do a tag team. We've been thinking about her, so thank God, finally, finally. Honestly, man, I've snorted hard to make the distinction between the stuff that's been cut and the Wolf of Wall Street snow at the top. Is the wind side one of my pillow's phones? Uh, Kimberly, you know, this week. If her pants weren't going to have these blister sores, would I hear that she used Eric's starfish cream? Like, the starfish cream. Donald Trump a couple weeks back said he wants to have a go with the spicy broad. I said fine. Do you know Tina Peters never even had a jaywalking ticket in her life? Ever. You know? Most people have never had a jaywalking ticket in their life ever. I don't think this is an intelligent way to assess criminality. You know who never had a jaywalking ticket? Hitler. Now let me tell you, that cell phone they took, here's what they wanted, Brandon. Why don't we pull up the first uh, exhibit? Okay. Uh, The district court, the search warrant and seizure. Now the next one. Yeah, okay. This was a picture of me. It was kind of funny, but this, you can't see it here. It's in black and white. No, it's a silhouette, Mike. If it was in black and white, we'd be able to see your mustache and confused look. This is a silhouette. 
the Queen has passed, and I've been watching the coverage with my wife, and there's been a lot of casket driving and casket carrying, and the world is divided on this. You're either watching, thinking, oh my gosh, don't drop it, why are they wearing those boots? Kilts are very trippy, I don't like this, I'm nervous, what is that guy doing? He doesn't look very strong, I think they're gonna drop the casket, please don't drop it side of things, or the, why haven't they dropped the casket, I need this for my TikTok side of things. Bottom line, the Queen is dead, Queen's eldest son Charles automatically becomes Queen, Thank you, Kenya. Do you think they were? Do you think they went down to Iowa with you and came back up? And then... I, that part I don't know, Brandon. I think you know they spent a lot of resources. All they could, all they had to do is say, "Hey, can we have uh, um, this conversation?" Whatever they're looking for. I think they went to get your phone, but it just so happened that that day you went to the duck pond, so they waited for you to get back into the city. They let you do your thing, and then they approached you, just like in Nazi Germany. I don't, it'd be different if I had a computer and stuff ran it. I do everything, as you know, off that phone. Everything. I, I don't sit in front of a desk. I go to my employees. I sit at a big table, if you're ever in my office. I sit at a big table just like this one. I'm very, I'm in, interactive. I'm doing a million things at once and I, and, and they take the phone. So it's everyone else's fault that your entire operation is on your phone. The same phone you lost in a field when you went hunting, but losing your phone was a funny, feel good story. But having your phone taken by the FBI, end of the world. My index finger was made for guys like you. MAGA tears. Get a life. MAGA tears. I just hate his sense of humor. Just not for me. MAGA tears. Remember, kids. Libs tell fibs. MAGA tears. Thanks so much for watching. Help me out by sharing this video or posting it on your social media. It'll cost you nothing and makes a huge difference for me. If you can afford to, please hit the super thanks button or tip me via PayPal and be sure to check out my mugs and stickers that go great with those MAGA tears. I am a stand-up comedian. I've played in 35 countries. I've supported Jim Jeffries on five of his tours. I have three albums on Spotify and Apple Music. Be sure to check them out. Life's short. Be cool. Be kind. Take care.